Hello there and welcome to this A-Series calibration tutorial from Adam Audio. The A-Series delivers highly accurate transparent sound across a full line of monitors and they also boast a wealth of voicing and equalization options that can be controlled remotely and in real time via the software application A-Control. A-Control also facilitates the integration of calibration profiles from our partner Sonarworks on A-Series monitors, and that will be the focus of this video. Each A-Series monitor contains an embedded platform in the loudspeaker's DSP that can host profiles created in SoundID reference. This powerful software measures the acoustics of your space and generates a unique calibration curve for each loudspeaker to help counteract problematic frequencies and resonances. Normally, this profile requires a VST or background application to run, but through the embedded platform, you can continue to benefit from the SoundID reference calibration, even with all software closed and the speakers disconnected from the network. In order to help as many people as possible experience this new technology, Adam Audio and Sonarworks are happy to share details of an extended 60-day SoundID reference trial for A-Series customers. So let's take a look at how it all works and calibrate this pair of A7V while we're at it. Let's start by installing and setting up A-Control, which is free to download from the My Adam user area on adamaudio.com for customers who have registered an A-Series speaker. Along with SoundID reference calibrations, A-Control facilitates remote backplate control and an advanced mode for custom calibrations over six bands of parametric equalization. These topics are covered in detail in the dedicated A-Control tutorial, which can be found here. The following is an excerpt from that tutorial that covers networking A-Series speakers. Once installed, open the application. Now go ahead and connect your speaker to your PC or Mac using a standard RJ45 Ethernet cable. A standard network switch or your Wi-Fi router can be used to connect multiple A-Series speakers simultaneously. In this example, we are using a pair of A7V monitors and a network switch. Once you power on your monitors, they will become visible in the network area of A-Control. This is the section to the left of the application, and initially they will be identifiable by their serial numbers. To identify which speaker is which, simply click the blink icon beside the speaker serial number. You'll see the respective LED blink on that connected speaker. Now that we have identified our speakers, we can rename them to something appropriate. Simply click in the text field to change it. As we are using a stereo pair, we will rename them A7V left and A7V right. Next, we will add both speakers to the setup area where we can explore the remote functionality and equalization modes found in A-Control. To do this, simply click the arrows beside each speaker in the network area. With both speakers successfully added to the network area, we will next need the sound ID reference and measurement applications from Sonarworks. Just like with A-Control, we need to register our speakers in the My Adam user area to access the 60-day sound ID reference trial. One trial license per customer will then be emailed to the address used to create your My Adam account. Equipped with our license, we now need to create an account on sonarworks.com in order to validate it and download sound ID reference and the measurement application. For customers already using the full version of Sound ID Reference, there is no need to download the trial version, but customers using the standard trial will need to upgrade to the extended trial to enjoy the full benefits of the technology, including the export function. It's important to note that a new calibration will always be required after moving the speakers. So before you get started, ensure your A-Series monitors are in their permanent positions and correctly placed and angled. A measurement microphone is required to carry out a calibration and this is not included with the 60-day trial or an A-Series purchase. Any measurement microphone with a flat response is suitable for the task, but we recommend Sonarworks' own measurement microphones as they are individually calibrated. These are available to purchase directly from the Sonarworks web store. Sound ID reference and the associated measure application will guide you through the calibration process step by step, which works by measuring the frequency response of your speakers at multiple points in your space. With the last measurement taken, we can then examine the overall response of the speakers in the room and see how it compares to the target flat curve. It's immediately obvious that the acoustics of our space are far from perfect. So our next step is to export the calibration profile from Sound ID Reference so we can use it on our loudspeakers DSP. To export the profile, select the menu icon on the calibration file and then select the dedicated Atom Audio export option. Sound ID Reference offers different calibration limits, but for A-Series monitors, please use the Atom Audio recommended zero decibel maximum gain option. With our calibration profile successfully exported, we can return to A-Control to transfer it to our loudspeakers DSP. To do this, click Menu, Load Sound ID Preset, 
and select the calibration file that was exported from Sound ID reference during the calibration process. Next, we need to be sure that we select the left calibration curve for the left speaker and the right curve for the right speaker. Once we hit apply, the calibration is immediately active. The active Sound ID reference calibration is also indicated by the EXT LED on the back plate of the monitor. With the Sound ID reference calibration active on our loudspeaker's DSP, you may wish to see how it compares to the factory voicings and custom equalizations that are possible with A-series monitors. To do this, simply select between adaptation mode with pure and UNR as further options, advanced mode, sound ID reference mode or the fully bypass mode and you will hear how each equalization or voicing compares in real time. With our calibration complete, A control and sound ID reference can both be exited and the network cables disconnected. The EXT LED on the back plate of our monitor indicates that the sound ID reference calibration is still active and it will remain active until one of the voicings is selected using the toggle switch. The Sound ID reference calibration can then be recalled at any stage by selecting EXT with the toggle switch once again. With this solution in place, it can be easy to set and forget about the calibration of your A-series speakers. However, try and remember that each unique profile is tailored to your room as it is right now. Any major changes to the acoustic environment, from the position of the speakers to adding or removing larger pieces of furniture, will require a new round of measurements and a new profile export. We hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and we look forward to answering whatever questions you might have in the comments below. Bye for now.